The Beach Boys! Nein, Alex! Nein, Alex! Nein, Alex! Nein, Mina, Mina, Basan, how are you doing? Good hey, we do we do the beer. How are you doing, Nigel? How are you doing, Nigel? Michael, how you been? we met a while ago, and Nigel, how are you doing? Good, great to see you. He was my partner for the concert. We were there. He wants it when you're on the boat. He wants to see you swim. He wants, he wants to see you swim. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Only joking. Only joking. It's actually an old uh, control tower going back to the 13th century. Uh, it's an old symbol of uh, the power and the independence of the city. And the statue on the left hand side here is a piece of Permeke. He's a very good Flemish artist. Huh? The piece is called I'm Looking for My Compact. It's on the right. Oh, it's on the right. Wow. <laughs> and uh, the interior, uh, St. Anne's neighborhood of uh, the city. So everything on the right hand side here. We'll end up in the North Sea, 16 kilometers away from here. And most of uh, the trades happened along that canal here in the city. And so uh, to the North Sea and on the left of medieval pictures. And a little further, on the right here in the corner, the building uh, with the red gates, that's uh, the only financial hub for a big part of Northwestern Europe. The first Wall Street. <laughs> you saw it here first. <laughs> At the time, they uh, divided the ports according to nationality. On the left-hand side, uh, the Dutch wall here, they're typical for the region. Today, it's a primary school. Uh, the bar goes back to 1515, just over 500 years old. It's easy to find, only one bar in the street, near the flag. And I'm sure you know uh, the movie, The Nun Story, with uh, Audrey Hepburn. The movie was made here, so in the white building here. And actually, Audrey Hepburn, she's uh, Belgian. She was born in Brussels, uh, in Antwerp. <laughs> or the gargoyles above uh, the doors and the windows. They're meant to keep out uh, the bad spirits. So people were very superstitious at the time. Why? Yellow paint, we're back in business. Oh yeah, pull the other one. That's called stretching. <laughs> The original piece is on the watch of uh, the free merchants, but you can see it from the canal, from the side wall. It's nearly one and a meter, one and a half meters tall. And actually, uh, this part of uh, the canals here in the city is most famous with artists. Huh? You see people from all over the world coming to draw and paint here. On the left hand side here, we have uh, the fish market from 1821. And we still use it uh, from Wednesday till Saturday, only in the morning. And, uh, a little further, we have uh, Tanner Square. That used to be the fish market uh, for the poor. So the small fish for the small budget. And the wooden facades uh, in front of us here show you how uh, the city looked like in the 17th century, with their copies up. 
Maybe you recognize them from uh, the movie Em Bruges with uh, Colin Farrell. He jumps out of the window here into Boda. And on the corner, we have a 16th century Spanish merchant's house. Inside today, contains nearly 600 of uh, the Belgian beers and uh, produce uh, more than 1,000 uh, different ones. Uh, uh, be careful, some of them have a pretty strong personality. Uh, the strongest one goes up to nearly 15 percentage of alcohol. So, Whoa. good stuff. Good be stuff. careful. Hey, hey. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> Bring him out. Bring out the crane. Uh, unfortunately, it would be a good idea, though. Franken Charles. There's even a beer cellar. It's uh, quite dark, but they do it on purpose. Huh? Too much light for beer is not good, so the best way of preserving them is drinking them on for them. <laughs> oh, you saying there? And in front of us here, we have uh, the Church of Old Lady. It was uh, built between the 13th and 15th century. And inside today, you can uh, see the world famous statue of uh, Michelangelo. So, Madonna with child in a uh, white marble. You can also see the mausoleums of uh, Charles the Bolt and his daughter, Mary from Burgundy. The church uh, measures 122 meters high. It's uh, still the tallest building in the city today. When uh, you build higher structures like that. A nice view on the church. Huh? And above uh, the bridge, you have uh, the main entrance gate to the Palace of the Lords of Grutus, 15th century. But it's unfortunately closed for restoration works. So you can evacuate the water from uh, the roofs. So. And you can also see the shields of uh, the Lords. So. Right here. Church is uh, completely built uh, from brick stone. That's uh, my sister's house. My other sister. Really? I'm not finished. My brothers. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the very big one here is mine. I wish, I wish. But I just mean to say, none of it is true, of course, but I just mean to say, uh, count uh, 200,000 euro for a tiny house along the canals here. And don't uh, forget the boats passing with a guy and a microphone in his hand, making a lot of noise. Huh? So, uh, a nice breakfast on a Sunday morning, forget about it. for the hospital. was uh, used to 1976, so that's nearly 800 years. It's actually one of uh, the oldest in Europe. There's a discussion with a hospital in Ireland. They say they're the oldest, and obviously we say we're the oldest, some of uh, Salvador, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. So he made a lot of things in, on paper, and they worked some uh, of these things out, and wood and metal, you can touch it, it's very interactive. It's very interesting. Way to a new factory where they bottle it, and to get the beer in the new factory, they have a pipeline running underneath the city, three kilometers long. And, uh, they did it to keep uh, the brewery here, because uh, they want to expand, it's the oldest brewery in the city. But, uh, well, it attracts a lot of tourism, so that's why they want a pipeline, unfortunately. <laughs> and on the right-hand side here, we have uh, the big garage of uh, the city. It dates uh, from 1245. There are no begin but the uh, Benedictine sisters, uh, only few remaining. Uh, was uh, an initiative of uh, Magdalena from Constantinople. So, uh, one of uh, the most beautiful parts of uh, the city, it's very relative, of course, uh, has everything to do with the city. So, also uh, one of uh, the oldest parts of uh, the city. Uh, inside, there's a huge art collection to discover. Now look on the right. On the left-hand tower, 
So this side, the left hand tower, that's uh, the belfry. From here, the square tilts up, tilts to the right. Uh, there's nearly 80 centimeters of difference on top. Uh, for the moment, they're looking into it, uh, just to make sure nothing uh, serious. In that case, uh, they have to intervene. Belgium will have uh, the technology. It was a Belgium company that stabilized uh, the Tower of Pizza. Really? Yeah. Have a look at the windows and the crosses, both sides of uh, the roof. At a certain moment, they transformed it into patient wards. I can see paintings of that inside the museum today. Yeah? So uh, the Hans Memling Museum, one of our Flemish primitives. And uh, a little bridge around the corner here is uh, the St. Bonifacius or uh, the Rhone Bridge, as it's uh, in Belgium. So one of uh, the reasons the city survived as a medieval city, as good as in Tecta, people yeah, weren't busy with two world wars, was uh, very little fighting here, so uh, very little damage. Huh? So uh, St. Bonifacius, so Law Bridge, uh, straight ahead. Below it, we have uh, the Divorce Bridge, and that's much more expensive. in China on a machine that's expensive, it's handmade in the city here, very labor intense and need to skills there. Last one, Barack Obama, two years ago, so there was a lockdown, huge security, no boats, no horse and carriage. And I did tell you the crystal windows, did I? Yeah. Also. Same uh, proprietor of uh, Hotel d'Orangerie on the left hand side here.